It's stuck on its rails. Lubrication might help. I poured some of the oil over the rails to lubricate it. I still can't move it despite the lubrication. Perhaps I need more leverage. I manage to wrench the door open as it grinds along the rails. A wire coat hanger. I presume you've heard of the events of last night. Yes, indeed. Victoria mentioned it to me this morning. S something about a dog, I hear. A dog that could have torn me in half. A dog which leapt through a second story window unscathed. There's been talk of them for years. I know there to be at least three in the estate. But you must understand, I simply do not have the energy to investigate. I can barely leave the house unaided anymore. Who has seen these things? Well, a few weeks ago, I was graced with a visit from the groundskeeper. He said to me he had seen the vermin, as he called them. And he was absolutely resolute on exterminating them. Perhaps he may be a good start. Although, I haven't seen him since that night. Is that usual? Oh, yes, indeed. The groundskeeper is something of an aloof fellow. Keeps to himself more often than not. Where can I find him? He has a small cabin to the west of the estate. It can be reached through the gate to the rear of the house. Though I'll be frank, I haven't seen the spare key for years since I don't venture out myself. That's all I need for now. Thank you, Mr. McCarthy. Do you know where the key is to the gate at the back? Yes. I'm afraid I knocked the key into the drainage grate in the pantry. Do you need it? Hmm. I'll manage. How are you feeling? I'm still a little shaken. But I'm fine. How is your investigation going? How do you know I'm investigating anything? I know who you are, Mr. McCarthy. I'm not stupid. You must be here for a reason. I'm just passing through, miss. I shall leave once my car is fixed. Of course, I had no intention of leaving after last night's events. I... Her eyes silently filled with bitter tears. It was me who slashed your tires. Why? Terrified here. And when you told me who you were... I knew that you could stop the terrible things that happen here. I just couldn't let you leave. What terrible things? People. Women. Check in, and they don't check out. And then their cars disappear in the night. Have you spoken to Michael about this? He says he dealt with the checkouts after I'd gone to bed. Do you believe him? Mr. Grosner is such a sweet man. He wouldn't hurt anyone. But, do you believe him? No. How has Victoria reacted to this? She seems either entirely oblivious, or entirely calm. I'm not sure which. Why don't you leave? I can't leave. Michael needs me here. But Michael may be the one responsible for all this. I won't believe that. I can't believe that. 
Why me? I've read about you, Mr. McCarthy. I know what you can do. I know you can stop this. I've had something of a fall from grace of late, miss. That it wasn't your fault. You can help. I know you can. Thanks for your help. I don't need a soul. I use the vice to bend the hanger into a makeshift hook. I use the hanger to fish the errant key out from the murk of the drain. If I just keep the keys with me, I'll be able to... The groundskeeper's hut was a simple affair of wood and stone. The acrid stench of decay filled my senses and made me want to run or drop to my knees. I shall persevere.